So when I got to know the team at Boundless, I was actually on the PR and media relations team at Focus on the Family, and my job was to get the word out about Boundless and to uh, write press releases and kind of set up interviews for those who were in charge. And I remember at the time they found out that I was single, and so they started asking me about my life and kind of where I was and what I was doing, especially in the relationship sphere. And I remember being kind of proud of myself because I was dating a few different guys at the time and had been in a couple of relationships and I was like, oh yeah, you know, and then I did this and then I did this and all of a sudden they're like, um, Lisa, we think that you might be dating some losers and we think that maybe your dating practices and kind of how you're going about this is not the best. And I was like, what? You know, at least I'm dating, at least I'm out there, at least I'm getting to know guys. and. And they were like, well, actually, there is a, a biblical and an intentional way of doing it so that you don't get hurt and so that you don't hurt others. And uh, through the course of many conversations and then starting to read Boundless articles, um, I was able to really learn that, oh, yeah, maybe some of the ways that I was doing things weren't the best. And out of that uh, really was born, in addition to conversations I've had with many of my friends and even many more young adults through Boundless, I learned kind of what I narrowed down to the, be the top five things that I think uh, Christian single young adults, uh, the top five mistakes really that we make when it comes to dating. And I outline those in my chapter, Five Reasons Your Love Life is a Disaster or Doesn't Exist. So 